The Super Heavy is the heart of SpaceX's Starship program. It's the booster that gives the Starship the power it needs to break through the bounds of the sky. That's why SpaceX is constantly changing and improving the Super Heavy. They're not afraid to make bold changes, even if it means taking risks. They know that the Super Heavy is the key to making Starship a success, and they're not going to stop until they've perfected it. The changes they've made to the Super Heavy have been breathtaking. They've made it taller, wider, and more powerful. They've also added new features like a heat shield and a self-destruct system. With each iteration, the Super Heavy gets better and better. It's clear that SpaceX is committed to pushing the limits of technology, and they're not going to stop until they've created the most powerful rocket in the world. So stay tuned for this exciting episode of Great SpaceX because the future of space travel is looking bright. Elon Musk unveiled SpaceX's first Starship Super Heavy booster on March 18th of 2021, showcasing their progress in building a 70-meter-tall stage. SpaceX has been working on its Super Heavy rocket for years, but it's been a bumpy road. The first prototype Booster 1 was supposed to fly in 2020, but it never made it off the ground. The second prototype, Booster 2, was also supposed to fly, but it was retired before it could even be stacked with the Starship spacecraft. And so it went, with SpaceX retiring five official booster prototypes in just over a year. But the company hasn't given up. In August of 2020, 2021, SpaceX completed the first fully stacked Super Heavy prototype Booster 4. It was expected to perform its first orbital flight at that time, but it was retired shortly thereafter. Clearly, significant technical developments had taken place with the subsequent prototypes rendering Booster 4 no longer their ideal choice. The next prototype, Booster 7, was a major improvement. It featured a number of new design changes including a taller and wider body, and a more powerful engine. Booster 7 also had a success successful static fire test, which is a major milestone in the development of a new rocket. However, Booster 7's success was short-lived. During a test launch back in April of this year, the rocket exploded spectacularly. The explosion was somewhat of a setback, but SpaceX didn't give up. They quickly began work on a new prototype, Booster 9. Booster 9 is the most advanced super heavy prototype yet. It features all of the latest design changes, and it's powered by a new generation of Raptor engines. Booster 9 is scheduled to launch launch in the coming months. If the launch is successful, it'll be a major milestone in the development of the Starship program. But even if the launch is not successful, SpaceX will keep trying. They're not going to give up until they've developed a super heavy rocket that can take Starship to orbit. And who knows, maybe one day they'll even land a super heavy booster on a giant mechanical arm. That would be pretty cool. What mainly sets super heavy apart is its sheer scale. The super heavy booster has been stretching its legs, literally. The booster has been lengthened by one or two steel rings, reaching a new height of 70 meters. That's almost as tall as an entire two-stage Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy rocket. And at 9 meters wide, the Super Heavy is effectively a giant steel tube, but it's not just for show. The extra height and width allow the Super Heavy to store more propellant. That means it can carry more payload to orbit. How much more? Well, according to SpaceX, a single Super Heavy booster should be able to store at at least six or seven times as much propellant as Falcon 9, and about two to three times as much as Falcon Heavy. That's a lot of propellant. So much so, in fact, that the Super Heavy booster could potentially send a fully fueled Starship to Mars. And that's just the beginning. SpaceX is still working on the Super Heavy booster and they're constantly making improvements. Who knows how big and powerful the Super Heavy booster will be in the future? One thing's for sure, it's going to be a beast. Its engine count and peak thrust are similarly staggering. The Super Heavy Booster has been getting a major upgrade. The biggest change is the number of engines. Previous boosters had 29 Raptor 1 engines, but starting with Booster 7, all Super Heavy Boosters will have 33 Raptor engines. This is a big deal because it means the Super Heavy Booster will have a lot more thrust. The Raptor 1 engine produces about 185 tons of thrust, but the Raptor 2 engine produces about 230 tons of thrust. So, so, with 33 Raptor 2 engines, the Super Heavy Booster will have a combined thrust of about 7,600 tons. That's a lot of thrust. Enough thrust to lift the entire Super Heavy Booster off the launch pad and send it into orbit. The Super Heavy Booster also has a new design. The raceways, which are external conduits that protect wiring and smaller plumbing, are sleeker and the layout of the pressure vessels, hydraulic power units, and an umbilical panel installed on its aft have been changed. The aero 
Euro covers that slot over that aft hardware have also been significantly changed. But the two next most substantial modifications made to Super Heavy are arguably a pair of Strake-like Aero covers and the addition of large internal header tanks meant to store landing propellant. The Strakes are designed to help stabilize the Super Heavy booster during flight. The header tanks are designed to store propellant that can be used to land the Super Heavy booster back on the launch pad. These changes are all designed to make the Super Heavy booster more powerful and more reliable. And a series of new sharp-edged aero covers is slotted over the top of the two new pairs of five composite overwrapped pressure vessels or COPVs that run about a third of the way up a Super Heavy since Booster 7. They're adding a pair of strakes which are fixed wing-like structures that are designed to improve aerodynamic stability. They're also adding a full set of internal header tanks which will store all of the propellant needed for landing. The strakes will help to keep the Super Heavy booster from wobbling during flight and the header tanks will make it easier for the booster to land safely. The strakes are a bit like fins but they're not attached to the booster at the bottom. Instead, they're attached to the booster at the top and they extend down the sides. This makes them more effective at stabilizing the booster during flight. The header tanks are also a big improvement. Previously, the Super Heavy booster had to store some of its landing propellant in COPVs which are pressured vessels that can store high pressure gas. This was a problem because the COPVs were heavy and bulky and they took up a lot of space. The new header tanks are much smaller and lighter and they don't take up as much space. This means that the Super Heavy booster can now carry more landing propellant and can also land more safely. But there is a modification for Super Heavy that we hadn't realized before which might be implemented in the future. In an interview with Everyday Astronaut, Elon Musk said that he thinks four grid fins are excessive for a spacecraft. He went on to say that two grid fins would be ideal or maybe three if the third one is significantly smaller. This is similar to the rendering of the interplanetary transport system that SpaceX unveiled in 2016. However, we haven't seen any changes to the booster so far. But what about the future? Is it possible to have a booster with three grid fins? Well, nothing is impossible. And as long as it can still provide normal landing guidance for Super Heavy, everything would be fine. So, who knows? Maybe we'll see a booster with three grid fins in the future. It'd truly be a sight to behold. Oh, and we also have to mention this for our last bit of news. One of the most crucial and decisive changes for the success of the second launch of Starship with Super Heavy is the new staging separation method that they have implemented. Hot staging is not as simple as the previously planned bottle opening mechanism for the booster. Instead, it involves a more complex requirement where the engine control program must coordinate smoothly so that the engines on the booster stage cease operation, leaving only a few running, while simultaneously igniting the engines on the upper stage. Additionally, SpaceX needs to manufacture additional vented shielding to protect the upper part of the booster from the heat generated by the engines of the upper stage. The hot staging method is nothing new. It's been done before, especially with Russian rockets, namely the Soyuz spacecraft that had sent cosmonauts and astronauts alike to the International Space Station. So why did the drastic changes in Super Heavy shock NASA scientists? Well, it's not every day that a company completely overhauls its rocket design. And in this case, SpaceX is not just making a few minor changes. They're completely redesigning the Super Heavy booster from the ground up. This is a huge undertaking and it's not without its risks. But SpaceX is confident they can pull it off. After all, they have a proven track record of success. They've already developed and launched several successful rockets including the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. And they're constantly innovating and improving their technology. So while the drastic changes in Super Heavy may have shocked NASA scientists, they shouldn't be surprised. This is just SpaceX doing what SpaceX do, pushing the boundaries of space exploration. And maybe their efforts will pay off and they'll eventually develop a rocket that can take humans to Mars. In the meantime, we can all sit back and enjoy the show. SpaceX is doing some amazing things and it's always exciting to see what they come up with next. Well folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the amazing progress in the development of the next generation of orbital space stations. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.